This is just Reuters spin on it. U.S. planes under high wildfire risk after blazes kill six people. Firefighters are getting under control some of the fast-moving wildfires that have killed six people and scorched more than one million acres from Colorado to Kansas, causing thousands of evacuations. Uh, the threat of wildfires remained high in the U.S. Plains due to dry weather, strong winds, and parched vegetation. Yeah, good old state of Texas. Four people turned into crispy critters, burning up 500,000 acres of Texas. Uh, good Lord, guys. This is, uh, this is the first week in March. The first week in March, you know, I know Austin was in the 90s several days in February. I think I was reading somewhere that Oklahoma saw 99 degrees in February. And we wonder why uh, th this country and this planet are on fire today. About the only place that's not burning through the goddamn ground is California because it's underwater. And... Uh, Good Lord, right here in East Bumblefuck, we haven't had a fire yet, but it could be ugly. I think we're under a fire warning here in East Bumblefuck. Anyway, but if you think it's bad here in the Great Plains of, uh, of the good old United States of America, let's go up to Canada and look up there as we see massive permafrost fall documented in Canada portending huge carbon release. This new study shows 52,000 square miles of permafrost in rapid decline. Yep. Uh, Jesus, I wish you could see that this picture of, uh, of all of these little, you know, the, these little permafrost holes showing up. Anyway, Huge slabs of Arctic permafrost in northwest Canada are slumping and disintegrating, sending large amounts of carbon-rich mud and silt into streams and rivers. And a new study that analyzed nearly a half million square miles in northwest Canada found that this permafrost dis decay is affecting 52,000 square miles of that vast stretch of Earth, an expanse the size of Alabama. According to researchers with the Northwest Territories Geological Survey, the permafrost collapse is intensifying and causing landslides into rivers and lakes that can choke off life downstream. Good Lord. Uh, similar large-scale landscape changes are evident across the Arctic, including Alaska, Siberia, and Scandinavia. Uh, and this study did not address the issue of greenhouse gas release from all that thawing permafrost. It was mainly just, just looking at, at, at how all of this shit is just affecting the land and the streams and the lakes all the way out to the ocean. But its findings could help quantify the immense global scale of the thawing, which will continue to which will contribute to uh, carbon emissions. Oh, shit. Uh, as the Arctic warms at twice the global rate, these long frozen soils thaw and decompose, releasing trapped greenhouse gases into the air. You know, mostly talking about the methane bomb that uh, Paul Beckwith says no longer exists. Scientists estimate that the world's permafrost, now in rapid decline all over this planet, holds twice as much carbon as is in the atmosphere today. It is a good thing the methane bomb is... <clears throat>